What's up guys, Jeremy Gashir and welcome to the final episode of Manchester United All-Stars Season 1, Episode Number 41. And yes guys, the huge game, the big game for the day, Barcelona versus Manchester United in the Champions Cup or the Champions League as most of you guys have already known it has. And of course guys, it's going to be at the Wembley Stadium, a place where we haven't had that much success to be honest against Barcelona. Oh, ironic. But with that said, guys, we've been practicing all week, all week long. We've been training and, of course, trying to put some play and, of course, of course, trying to work our best to definitely, uh, you know, come into this game with a tragedy to definitely try and take the game to Barcelona, especially playing in our own turf, of course, in the Wembley Stadium and, of course, in front of our Manchester United faithfuls. We definitely want to definitely showcase ourselves and show them why we're such a strong team or why we've been very dominant, of course, in the Barclays Premier League. So with that said, guys, we want to make sure we definitely show Barcelona why we are such a strong team and at the same time dictate the game as much. Try to definitely limit them from uh, playing their type of game, uh, the game they like and enjoy playing. But you can see there, guys, the two captains to kick this one off, Vidal for Manchester United and a former Red Devils himself, PK for Barcelona. This is going to be an eated one, guys, and I hope you guys are settled and ready for it. So let's jump into the formation. They're going to be playing a 4-3-3 formation. They're a formation that they're very familiar with. In fact, I will name them the king of this formation, the 4-3-3. You can see they're Messi in the center forward position, Sanchez, and of course, Pedro playing on the wing. We're going to be playing a 4-2-3-1 formation, though. Van Persie up front, Kago in behind, Gaetan and Neymar, a formation that definitely have been having their ticket. And of course, we want to try and definitely make sure we bring it to them in this episode so it's actually us to kick this one off guys and you can see Neymar here trying to put a spread to play here put it out on the wing but Jody Abba just stepping in and of course you see it falls straight to the feet of Anderson who passes in for Van Persie and look at that turn and what a strike even a better strike putting that one away in the fifth minute to give us the first goal of the game what more can you ask for from your lads especially getting a goal this early into the game against a really mighty strong barcelona but they push four guys and look at that a nice pass here into messi but it was very tame but did win the ball though from our own half and look at this van persie spots the run off neymar he's going to put this one into space for him and look at the defender there all over Neymar, but he still managed to get away and managed to go near post, beating Victor Valdez. I don't even know how that went in, but it did in the 27th minute. And maybe it's just because it's Neymar. He's just been a really phenomenal signing for us. We spent a lot of money for him. I believe it was 55 mil, if I'm not mistaken. So it just shows... Uh, how much he's definitely mean to us and how good of a player he is. But they push four guys in the 34th minute. Nice pass into Pedro. He's going to pass it into Messi. Messi straight to the feet, of, of course, of Cesc Fabregas. And he slide that one, beating our defenders there. And, of course, the keeper. And sliding that one into that bottom corner. And I, I, that was just a frustrating goal to give up because we we're defending so well. But they were playing so well, guys. We can't even complain too much about it. And we came right back down the end, guys. And look at that strike from Gaetan. Don't know how he didn't score there. A bit frustrated. And then look at the savior again from Victor Valdez with a strike there from, of course, Van Persie just outside the box. And we managed to hold on, though, for the 2-1 lead going into the half. And, of course, we want to try and definitely do better in the second half. But you can see, guys, we had five shots, four on target. They had four and three on target. 45% of the ball force and 55 for them. And look at our shot and pass accuracy. Really good. It's a very close game, you can see there. And we want to try and keep it that way, or at least try to take it. But look at this pass here in the 64th minute into Guy 10. And of course, I don't know what he was thinking there. It is straight at Victor Valdez, a bit frustrating. And they come right back down, guys, almost getting a goal there through Sanchez. And of course, some nice footwork there from him. But we did push forward again, guys, spreading the play out on the wing for Neymar. And look at this finish here. Beating the defender, and of course the keeper there. You can see Victor Valdez stretching, and of course couldn't reach that one. What a finish shot into that four corner in the 82nd minute to pretty much finish off the game at this point. But we have quite a bit to go, guys, and you know this is Barcelona. We're playing them, so they can definitely get back into the game whenever they want to. So they did go to make some changes though, and we wanted to do the same to definitely keep the game fresh, and of course keep our players on the edge at all times. So we wanted to bring some fresh players and sharp legs to definitely play. And <laughs> look at this, guys. I can't even believe it. Philip Santana give the ball away, and look at this, Pedro in yards of space to finish that one, and couldn't. And we managed to hold on for the 3-1 win. Yes, guys, we pick up the win. Look at Pedro there, not happy with himself because he know he could have got a goal for them. But I don't think it would have mattered, to be honest, guys, because we would have won the game anyway because we're already 3-1 up. Look at the lads. Look at the fans. They're definitely happy showcasing ourselves and showing why we've been so dominant. We deserve it, to be honest, guys, because we've been really dominating this league. Not only this league, but all the competitions we've played in. 
which is the reason why we're in the finals to be honest we've been really dominating and of course you guys if you follow the series you'll see exactly why and how we've been really dominating but with that said van Persie was a man of the match at 8.8 .8. <laughs> and you can see you guys some of the other players they played very well look at anderson stat at eight he was really outstanding we are seven shots six on target a really bad position uh, you can see they're 36 percent which is really awful but our shadow pass because it was decent too as well in the i 80s and of course you can see they of course went through ac milan we had to go to of course chelsea and we take it 3-1 we are the champions and we pick up our money guys which i think was about 6.5 mil if i'm not mistaken or my six be 6.3 you'll see in just a minute yeah 6.3 and uh you know i think it probably should have been a little bit more because it's a tough competition to play in but nevertheless guys i wanted to definitely show you the stats of all the players and how outstanding they have been because they've been really outstanding and we can't really you know we can't complain about any of the players to be honest guys even players that may not be as outstanding as they really can be I really don't have anything to say because even the younger players have been stepping up and you guys know if you've been watching the series I've definitely been spreading the love and playing everyone everyone's been happy no one can complain of course look at that his form is excellent even though he's losing quite a bit the veteran there Ryan Giggs but that's it guys this is Manchester United the team that we love and support the team that I love and support and of course these guys definitely gave their heart for it they showed why they want to be of course in the first team so a lot of these players will definitely make it and of course it's you know it's, it's very happy to see that but look at that guys look at my stats look at the trophies with i mean this is just ridiculous i mean look at my stats man you're talking about 62 play games played we've won 59 draw one lost two 173 goal score and 37 allowed outstanding i mean what more can you ask for guys you can't ask for anything else from these players they've just been really immense and of course you can see we took it 114 points 89 goals scored and 18 allowed thank you guys so much for a really good series i really and truly enjoy uh making the series and uh, enjoy you guys commenting and posting on this guys we have a new series that's going on now uh fifa 14 be sure to check it out you guys will also see uh, in just a minute of course my thumbnail be sure to check it out that series is in the 15th episode now so thank you guys so much and peace